Hello and welcome Pisces. I hope that you all are radiating positive of energy at this time. Let's hop into it, get our universal message, see how we doing on our soul's journey. And we have key new beginnings, directions, and achievements await for those ready to let go of the past. Okay, I had to read that real slow. I'm going to read it again. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. So, Pisces, the universe is saying you hold the key to your future. All you got to do is let go of the past. Be right here in the present moment. That's it. You know, let the past fall away. Because what it, it, it's, just, it's, it's just what was. Right? Although the past can still hurt, some of you can still feel the pain, your body only knows you. So whatever you think and whatever you experience in this moment, your body believes that to be true. Right? So that's what manifests into your reality. So if you holding on to past hurt and past pain, your body feels like you hurt right now. You in pain right now. So you're going to keep experiencing it. Right? You have to rise above. You have to release it and let it go. That's why it's so important. That's why the universe keeps talking about being in the present moment and releasing the past. Because your unconscious, your subconscious mind only knows you. So if you experiencing these traumatic events over and over and over, that's all your subconscious mind knows. So that all that's all it develops in your present moment. So if you could just release the past, do your best to heal from it and let it go, you're going to experience better days, right? So you hold the key to your present and future moment. All you have to do is release the past. All right, Pisces, that's what it is on our soul's journey right there. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see how your person is feeling about you. How is Pisces person experiencing them at this time? Okay, we got flirt. So this is somebody who may flirt with you. Somebody who may, you know, kind of keep you happy at this moment. Make you laugh. Keep you excited. We got wedding. Somebody's willing to commit. Ready to commit. Wanting to marry. You know, it's it feels very youthful. Like this person just enjoys your time, enjoy being around you. They keep flirting with you. They keep you interested. They keep you feeling like you the new thing, really, when y'all been together for a while, right? And then we got free yourself. Free yourself from them, uh, from the trap of your trauma, right? That's how your person feels. They want you to free yourself from the trap of your drama or your trauma, I mean. They want to keep flirting with you to keep you happy, keep you uplifted. They committed to you, so they willing to do anything that they can to help free you from the traumas of your past, right? How else is this person feeling about Pisces? We have a new love. You know, every day. They love you even more. Every single day, you feel like that new person. That's why they keep flirting with you. You know, every day, they love you more and more and more. Right? And then we have romantic feelings. Right? Free yourself from that trap so you can experience this lover in your life. This person loves you. They have feelings for you. They still flirt with you. They treat you like this the first day they met you. They treat you like you somebody they trying to get with. You know, they keeping the, the energy alive here. This person wants to commit to you, but they want you to be healed. Right? They want you to experience this new love and not love from the past. Not the type of love that brings you hurt pain and trauma. They want you to experience new love. They want you to explore the romantic feelings that they have for you, Pisces. Let's see. What is their overall energy of the connection here? And we got desire. Desire. This person is desiring your silhouette. Maybe they love your breasts, right? Cancer energy. This person is desiring you, Pisces. Right? They want all of you. They want you to be healed. 
You know, they're desiring the best parts of you, the love parts of you, the commitment parts of you. They don't want to experience the trauma. Because you know, like when you get with these people, Pisces, you take on their issues. If they having personal issues, them personal issues are your personal fucking issues, right? Whatever your person is experiencing, you adopt that, you know, experience with them when you get with them. So this person knows that obviously because they want you to free yourself from the hurt, from the pain, from the trauma, from the past. So you can experience this new love and these romantic feelings. This person desires you and your healthiest at your best. Right. That's why they try to keep you youthful. They try to keep you active. They try to keep your mind believing that you're the most beautiful thing. Like I just want you more and more every day because this person wants to marry you one day. They are highly committed to you, but they want you to free yourself from this pain and trauma. All right. Let's see. Who is this person? Who is this person? We have the chariot cancer energy again. Some of you may be dealing with a cancer or a water sign. But this person is ready to move forward and they want you confident right here. Okay? They want you confident. They want you to know that you're the best. Right? And then we have the page of wands. This person treats you like a celebrity. This person tries to make you feel like there's no boundaries. There's no limits of how far y'all could go together. This person is ready for you to get inspired by them. They want you inspired by them. Right? They treat you like a celebrity. Like, you know, and then we have the sun. This is growth, elevation, joy, success, triumph, right? So this person wants you to succeed over your past. They want you to be happy and not live in that trauma fulfilled state. They want you happy. They want you vibrating. They want you excelling here, Pisces. This person is ready for you to grow. Right. And then we have the queen of wands. This person is paying close attention to you. They feel like you sexy. They know you got that ambition. You know, they know you want success here. They just want you to stay confident, not be confident here, there. No, stay confident every day because you beautiful. You worth it. This might be somebody who encourages you and uplifts you. And for me, that sounds great because it always seemed like you the one doing the encouraging and the uplifting and speaking victory over other people. Like this person say, Pisces, what you do for others, I want you to do for yourself. The advice you give others, I want you to take that advice yourself. Right. They want you to just stay confident and, and they want to let you know how beautiful you are or how handsome. Right. Then we have justice. This person wants to bring your issues into balance. Pisces, this is somebody who helping you work on your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, your spiritual health. This person is being as fair as they can. They trying to stay balanced as they can. And they living in their truth. And they want you in your truth. They want you to break this karmic cycle that's been hovering over you for all this time. They want you to kill that energy from the past and step into a brighter future with them. Let's see, what else is this person feeling for Pisces and wanting to experience what Pisces? Hold on. Gotta chase this one, Pisces. And it's the Six of Swords. This person, I'm telling you, Pisces, this person wants you to make peace with your past so you can move forward and live a happy life with them. See, moving forward, being confident, being strong-willed, having a desire to conquer the bullshit trauma from the past. This person is ready for you to excel. This person wants you to have peace in your life. They want you to experience what life is really about. They want you to enjoy life, right? They don't want you sitting up stewing over the past. Pisces, this person wants you to wake up here with the hangman. They don't want you to be stuck in your past. They want you to see things from their perspective. They want you to see how beautiful the other side is. Everything you want is on the other side of the fear. So they want you to wake up and leave that trauma and hurt and pain in the past. They want you to be aware of what's going on now. They want you to experience life as it is today. And and life as it is today is happiness, is joy. You know, this person wants you to feel like you're the only girl in the world. 
They just want you to be aware of how much they care about you. And they want you to see things from their point of view. They want you to see how much of a celebrity you are right here with the Page of Wands. They want you to see how, how much they believe in you, how inspired they are by you, even though you can't see yourself. They see you. They look at you as some type of celebrity who can get anybody they want, right? Three of Cups. This person wants to enjoy you. That's all. They just they just want to enjoy you. They want to love on you. You know? Hey, who is this person? Shoot. Because, uh, oh, your person is Chariot. I was just asking who it is. Because this feels like somebody who's highly motivated to ensure that you come up out of that trauma from your past. Because they see you for who you are, not who you were, not who what you've been through. They see you for who you are today. And they want you to see yourself as who you are, which is the star. They want you to heal. They want you to be at peace. They want you to align with yourself. They want you to believe that you are somebody. They want you to believe and have confidence that you are a star. You are a celebrity. You can do anything in this world. You can conquer and achieve anything. All you got to do is believe in yourself like I believe in you. That's what they saying. Believe in yourself like I believe in you. And, and, and let's stop the bullshit. Let's leave Hollywood. Let's get away from this place where there all this demonic and negative energy lives let's move forward let's start a new life somewhere else we can have a whole new beginning so this is somebody who just really trying to push you and elevate you to be the best version of you that you could be what's crossing all the energy is the nine of cups this person just wants you to be happy they want you to be satisfied they want you to be enjoy your life they want you comfortable right so i hope this resonated with somebody let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day pisces we have the third chakra and it's the it's the sixth chakra, sorry, and it's the third eye chakra. And this one is relevant to spirit, acknowledge spirit. Why am I fucking choking up? Acknowledge spirit. Because I wanted to say we get this acknowledge spirit card a lot here on the positive side, right? And I feel like it's because we know spirit is there. We just have to wake up to it. We have to acknowledge it. We have to talk to it. We have to believe in it for real. Right? I trust I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. Right? The universe wants you to acknowledge that I'm here. God, the Holy Spirit, the one who breathed life into your body, is screaming to you, acknowledge me. Believe in me. Have faith in me. Know that I am your provider. Know that I breathe life into your body. Know that it wasn't by chance that you even exist, right? So I trust in a higher source and I acknowledge my direct connection with it. It wants you to meditate, be still. In the stillness, I listen for the wisdom inside and I am open to the spirituality that is within and all around me. I know that love is the creative force. I meditate and welcome mystical truths. I am open to seeking guidance in my spiritual quest from a spiritual teacher, master, or guru. God said, come find me. I'm still in the same place where you left me, inside of you. Come find me. Believe in me. Acknowledge me and watch your life change. So, the, so acknowledge spirit is our positive energy. All right, Pisces, if you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.